Hi, I'm Alexa, and welcome to Sandals and Steel Toes. Today I'm in my greenhouse. I live in Northeast Ohio, which is Zone 6A. I'm about three minutes away from Lake Erie, so we are super close to the coast. And I just wanted to get on here and say happy spring. Um, it feels so good to be outside. I have been starting seeds. I've been getting the garden cleaned up and I'm finally able to use my greenhouse after a long winter of mostly just looking at it. <laughs> and I got a lot of great stuff uh, started. So over winter in my greenhouse, I did have some things growing. And these are all the frost hardy brassicas. Like this cabbage is looking really nice. I have them growing in these um, grow bags. Over here we've got some, we've got choy, some lettuces, rutabaga. So my overwinter vegetables, I uh, have various brassicas, mostly just cabbage and kale, some greens, bok choy. And this greenhouse is completely unheated. We purchased this um, used and my husband Carmen took it all down from the person that he bought it from and reassembled it back on our property last summer. And I wanted to try it out through the winter to see what we could grow. And I just got a bunch of pots and grow bags and started some frost hardy veggies back in September and they did grow over winter. They surprisingly didn't die. I thought um, in the middle of January that things were going to die because we were getting below zero degree Fahrenheit temperature, but the plants just kind of took a nap and they went to sleep. And then once it started to warm up again, they woke up and they're still alive. Feels nice in here, doesn't it? So I actually just took all those plants out earlier this week once the temperatures were staying above freezing at night. Now we will have some more dips and it would not surprise me if we get another snow through April that is not uncommon in Northeast Ohio. We will get snow and frost even up until May, which is why all of our frost tender veggies cannot be planted until closer to like Memorial Day weekend. Sometimes we can get away with Mother's Day, but you run that risk of like a random late frost overnight. So uh, Memorial Day weekend is usually pretty safe to plant most of the warm loving crops. Now I did start inside my house at the very end of February, my early spring garden. So I planted the seeds for those. So that includes more cabbages, broccolis, lots of greens, Swiss chard, kale. What else I got here? Bok choy, collards. So I brought these all out to the greenhouse yesterday and started to uh, trans hot pot some of these because I sewed my pots kind of heavily and things are getting a little bit laggy and running out of room. So I'm out here just up potting them into the six, six tray flat and I am doing it this way because I will be um, selling some of them, giving some away to uh, friends and family who garden. Um, I just love to start seeds and start plants, so I'm not in this really to make a profit, but you know, a couple extra bucks here and there don't hurt to buy like supplies and soil because that can get kind of expensive. Um, so my main task for today is just to finish uh, getting some of these potted up, like there's two cabbages in this little cup here and I am the type of person that I, I just have a really hard time um, cutting off one of the plants so I just separate them and repot them to try and get as many plants as I possibly can even if I don't need them all. Like I said I will sell or give away my extras. Greenhouse is lovely. It is 85 degrees in here right now and I have the door open um, so I'm already getting kind of warm and it's great because I love warm weather. Um, I am not a cold weather person which is kind of ironic considering where I live it does get very cold. Uh, it does get very snowy and we live in gray weather for um, a good three to four months of the year and so days like today I'm like yes it's and I can be happy and excitable. Seasonal affective disorder is a real thing and anyone who lives in the Northeast I'm sure can attest to how that can really affect your mood. This is just my quick greenhouse update. I will show here. This is my green stock planter. Now I have had this in here all winter. 
Um, the things I had in here through the winter pretty much died except for this lettuce did come back and this collard came back. All of these lettuces in here were in a different pot in the greenhouse through the winter and I transplanted them to give them more space and they're actually starting to grow really good. So this green stock I'm actually going to be moving up closer to the house because I want my salad greens really close to the house. So we'll be moving this out here soon and I might have some more space for another shelf because already I can see after transplanting just one row of broccoli <laughs> seedlings from one of my flats there, um, this entire tray is pretty much filled up. I'm going to run out of here, uh, room here probably faster than I think, especially once tomatoes and peppers and stuff of that nature come on outside. Lots of good stuff happening. I'm really excited just to get back into gardening season. Like I said, after a long winter, it feels really good to get back out here, get my hands in the soil and start growing some things. So I hope you guys um, come back and watch more videos. I've got quite the collection building over the last couple years. So please subscribe to my channel. Um, my goal for this year is to hit my 1000 viewers. So I'm on, I'm going into my third year of doing YouTube and right now I'm around 425 subscribers. So my goal for this year is to hit that thousand. I can only do it with your guys' help. So please uh, subscribe to my channel and like this video and stay tuned for lots more gardening content. It's springtime, it's here. It's, this is a good time of year. So thanks so much for watching. Do something you love today. Bye.